I'm not really expecting too much to be honest, I'll be doing well to ride a winner and um, it's just one of those days really where your rides are okay and hopefully one of them wins. If Holly can pick up a win in the next race, she'll break her own record for most wins in a year by a British female jockey. But recently, she struggled with her first races of the day. The ground's quite soft at this time of year. Um, it's a tough time of year because all the horses have been on the go all year and then the autumn ground comes, so it's hard work, so it can find a lot of horses out, really. They're, you know, they're tired after a long year, so this time of year is a bit like um, a lottery, really, with knowing how your rides are gonna run. So obviously I had a, a good year about three or four years ago. I just thought that that was a one-off. I thought, ah, oh, no chance will I have a good year next year. It's such an up and down sport, but it's important to keep the results coming through because you need to be, um, you know, on the on a trainer's list to use you really. It's late in the afternoon, and Holly has yet to ride a winner. As she heads into the next race, it's her last shot for the day. Mustazid is the one to complete the lineup. Good luck in the last. And into top gear comes Mustazid as well, with a really threatening run. Holly Doyle in full flight here. Mustazid and Aon Ali. These two lock horns, they have it between them here. Mustazid this side of Aon Ali. Mustazid, Aon Ali will not go away. Mustazid just proving too strong. Moves Holly Doyle to 152 for the year. She continues to rewrite the records. Mustazid, Aon Ali gave it everything. They were clear of two brothers and Telly Red. She's uh, just so determined, it's unbelievable. She's just never wanted anything else bar to be a, a jockey. I can't put it into words how it feels to watch her do, do what she does. As a jockey, I mean, she's proven over the last couple of years that she's in the top tier. She's stayed there for a few years now and it doesn't look like that's going to change. Because each year, if I ride more and more winners, people are going to have, you know, high expectations of me year in, year out, which is great because I have high expectations of myself, but I suppose it will get to a point where it will be a hard number to, to break, really. I've still got plenty of ambitions and goals and things I want to do as a jockey. Like, I'd love to be champion jockey. I'd love to win the derby. You never get a chance to stop to kind of recognise what's going on around you. It's mad when you look back and think at what's happened. When I first started, I wasn't amazing. I just kept my head down and things have worked out. Kind of opened my eyes to what could happen really for me in the future. In the past, not many female jockeys have had opportunities like I've had, but I can show to other girls, if you want it that badly, you can get it.